I can time. Yeah, okay. I can time. Sure. Okay, thank you very much. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, like I said, uh, my name is Noah. I'm a PhD student here in Applied Linguistics. And um, I, I have really worked in, in I, I worked in, in different contexts of English language teaching, uh, but most especially in the teacher training context. And in the last four years, I've been working uh, in the EFL context, which I find very interesting, and I've learned quite a lot from it. So my, my topic is reassessing the difficulty levels of English language skills, what teachers and, and students' perception say. Uh, let me start maybe with a brief question to you, uh, because I'm, I'm focusing on, on the skills, listening, reading, and writing. If you are asked, which one would you like, what, based on your experience as language teachers, learners of the language, which one do you think would be more difficult for us? Let's take a yes. Uh, I recently researched this exact uh, question. And I'm going to I mention it in my presentation. I was wondering the same thing too. And uh, we, we had a questionnaire with the last uh, uh, number of students. And they came up with writing being the most difficult one. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much. Which is the one I, I suspect it would be. Okay, so it's really you suspected and, and the research came up with that. Any, any, any other, yes? I think uh, if I walk to the side, yeah. listening, listening is the most difficult. Listening is the most difficult. All right, any other? Okay, listening, writing. Thank you very much. So this is the rationale. I, I teach in an EFL context. And I have the opportunity to work in the writing center. So this recent years I've been interested in writing. So we teach, uh, we focus on all skills, listening, reading, speaking, and writing, and, and the target, like the curriculum is trying to get the target to balance, to make sure that students are proficient in, in, in all the skills, especially the productive skills, writing and speaking. So based on my observation over the few years I've been working, we, and we mark the, the different sections differently, So the students really have been doing well. The performance in writing is really, uh, to some extent, we can say very good. But in the other skills, uh, tend to be low. And generally, the perception is writing is difficult. But then here is a situation where students perform better in writing and somehow scoring uh, lower marks in, in the other skills. So that was uh, truly what informed my, 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 my research. I did became visited and tried to find out. So the questions I'm trying to answer is like, what is the perception? Uh, what is the perceived difficulty level of the English language skills in a near context? What is students' performance in writing? And what factors are responsible for the imbalance? So I'm not only asking which one is more difficult, but I try to go further and see why there is imbalance in the performance, uh, if at all, or what. So I, I try to look at other research in whether people have looked at something like that. Yes. Uh, Cherko, 1989, in a survey, of course, of international students, academic at the University of Alberta, we found that 36% of students consider writing as very difficult, uh, though also speaking as well. So you can see, to some extent, like the productive skills are a bit difficult. And in another research, which compare both native and non-native speakers in a university setup, uh, which was carried out by Bath, is it Berman and Chen, 2000. They stated that both non-native and native undergraduate and graduate find the productive skills of writing to be significantly more difficult than the receptive skills with mean rating of 2.42%. Uh, so it, the research trend shows that yes, writing is more difficult or the productive skills somehow more difficult. I also got this uh, finding from a, a, a blog, uh, using English, you have the, the link there, they, they just post, post a, a pool, like people just to, to think which one is more difficult. And you can see this is the result. I retrieved 
this uh, in, in, in April uh, 2014. So I look at some of the comments because this uh, goes along with comments why people perceive, and these are the kind of uh, comments people make. I said writing just because writing can always be better, knowing that it's never perfect. It's troubling to me. So it's, there's a kind of continuous process. This kind of comment is reflecting writing as a kind of process rather than product. So blah, blah, you have uh, most of the responses like you can see that about Majority of the responses, like 60 percent, yes, comment uh, the fact that writing is more difficult. So this is uh, by way of reviewing what people have said or what they have think about, thought about uh, writing. So now I first look at the result of the students, like in the different skills. The first column is the listening, and then you have the speaking. Actually, I couldn't. Get the, the speaking result because normally this is carried out by the individual teachers through either interviewing the students in a kind of dialogue situation or maybe give them a kind of topic to present. So this is how teachers assess. So I was unable to get the result, but for the listening, because uh, and the other ones we had on the on sheets, I was able to get. So this is the result. I consider 60% is the past mark the context we work. So you can see in the writing, compare with uh, reading, for example, who have writing only three people uh, got less than 60. So the majority of the students got above 60, scoring like 93%, 86, 73, 80, and so on. In the reading, you can see like the majority of the students got the notes. Uh, the listening, I, 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 I don't know why, it's like most of the students end up getting uh, almost the total mark, like 100%. Yeah, but it could be due to that. Maybe the listening is repeated twice. We, we, we play something for them, they listen, and then they tick. This is how we, we measure their listening in the exam. So it's repeated twice, and I, I don't really know why, but really uh, it's 100%. So this is the writing result compared to the other skills. So I developed a question here, like for both teachers and students, like, okay, we have eight items on the, on the question here, like, trying to find out whether you consider the reading difficult or listening one. So I uh, we have three different purposes where I hope we have one umbrella of English language center, but we have it in three different campuses. So I apply the question here in, in the three different campuses where we have one is in female campus. And this is uh, the students' response in terms of which skills are they considered more difficult. Uh, we have the listening writing here, and uh, you can see the final uh, overall result, you still have writing, of course, with 40%, and to some extent, 27% uh, for speed. Uh, a total of 351 students actually filled the question here, and this distribution across uh, the campuses. So this further justified previous uh, research and previous perception of that. So uh, this is a kind of other graphic representation of that, of the students. So this is the teacher's question here, yeah, which is almost a uh, kind of parallel kind of question here yeah, uh, that we ask uh, the students. So this is the male result and this is the female, last one of the female campus, and, and, and the last two, uh, the other five that shows the overall in terms of all the, the teachers across the different campuses. Here also we have in writing. Uh, there is a significant dif uh, difference between the teachers and the students. You can see that students score higher than the 
over 40 percent that the future is like 37. But if we look at it generally, both teachers and students rated uh, writing to be higher. So this is a kind of comparison of the two. So I interviewed some teachers, I, I randomly selected some teachers and then tried to have an interview with them, all running face to face and be like, what do you think, why do you, this is what I observe, this is what, this is how we mark, this is students' uh, scores, and why do you have this imbalance? If you guys believe that writing is more difficult when they score higher than writing, why is this so? So these are some of the results. They based on assessment, they, they consider as to one of the factors, previous background of the students as well as teaching practices as one of the reasons. So um, assessment, these are some of the statements they mentioned, are uh, like questions are usually taken from the textbooks or what have been told already. So just like in the previous presentation, we also use textbooks, certain textbooks, we use wall image. So you discover that the writing in, in, in the one English you look at it is, is also classified in this kind of form, you have different sections. So maybe teachers will just take the question right from the textbook, which students have already done, so they master the lesson, so they have already, rather than more critical. So questions do not usually challenge learners' critical thinking, which is closely to that. And questions are recycled severally by students, or uh, severally, that students can somehow make accurate predictions. So like questions given this year, maybe sometimes they are recycled. Because we have a system of like, we have a kind of question bounce, so, and we have a committee that set up the assessment. So sometimes they go back to the bank and then Certain questions have been used previously. We still apply in the class. And no weight is given to writing despite its importance. So some of the teachers feel that the writing should have more weightage, like more than the other ones, since it's very important and more critical. So they feel that's that. And bears of low expectation of students on the side of the teachers. And naturally, some teachers feel probably because uh, students wouldn't have been well in writing, so they give them uh, questions that are really not challenging. And avoiding minor errors going to discourage students. I don't know how this will look at this. Like, uh, when they looked at the writing, the content, grammatical accuracy, and other things like that, like, they try to avoid certain things so that they don't like a kind of discourage the students. So I know there's debate on this issue. Like when you give feedback, what kind of feedback do you give to students? Do you give feedback? Does the feedback discourage or encourages uh, the student? So inconsistency in, in writing rules. This is to do all this uh, to do with assessment. So the background is that students had minimal exposure to writing at the high school. Yes. At the high school, I teach in Saudi Arabia, and English is taught at the high school, but really not at that level. So it's like a kind of subject in the class. In all other subjects, students use Arabic to learn. They use Arabic in communication. So English is like a subject, not really means or tool for communication. So because of that, they have really, and particularly with exposure to write, not much writing. Vocabulary and grammar, and so on. the complexity of, of writing makes it naturally more challenging to the student. This is some of the uh, responses I received. Teaching practice minimal attention is given to teaching writing because it can 
consume more time. Yeah, I don't know if you agree with that. Generally, in the EFL industry, I think we, we always lack time. We, we lack time, we have time limitation. We have to cover the syllabus and so on. So writing really requires time because it's really a process much more than a product. And this is what the second point uh, demonstrate. Teachers don't go through the process of teaching writing properly, like pre-writing tags, activities, brainstorming, organization, draft, writing, and rewriting. Really, teachers don't have the time to be able to go through this. Because if they have to go through this, they can see a lot of time, and they won't be able to cover the syllabus as much as possible, especially in our own situation, wherever you have many sections of a particular class, and teachers are distributed, and target after maybe second week or third week is supposed to cover this and there will be tests or quizzes which is conducted generally. So um, thank you. Uh, because of that teachers wouldn't have time to do it. So these are some of the things that uh, are discovered as the result uh, why students uh, score higher in writing even though their opinion in reality shows that they consider writing more difficult, and this is what even teachers say. So a kind of uh, recommendation, which is, of course, is a way to tackle uh, those uh, problems. Uh, writing should be taught as a course rather than a product. And of course, recommendation both in terms of teaching practices and the assessment, which is dependent on time, and of course, sometimes affects the administration, I mean the system itself. It affects both the teachers, coverage of the curriculum, and the administration. So, uh, this is my presentation. Uh, thank you very much. Yes. Yes, so, any questions?